All righty then, let's get started. Welcome to today's Sugar Sierra Music Group. Sugar's getting real spicy lately, and they released some pretty fun new features, um, particularly with artificial intelligence and communication. So we're really excited to go over this stuff with you today. Um, per the usual, all pertinent information will be sent to you in a follow-up email after this event. Make sure that you get that within 48 hours of the user group. So let's start with some quick intros. I am Deneen Madura, the Director of Marketing here at Technology Advisors. And with me today, we have, sorry guys, <clears throat> weird noises blowing up on my phone. Uh, Alex Biardo, our Business Analyst, and Justin Kuhlthau, our Director of Services. I'm gonna turn the floor over to them. Also, if you have any questions throughout while Alex and Justin are presenting, feel free to pop those into the chat box and we will make sure to get those answered for you. Guys, take it away. Thank you, Deneen. Today, as Deneen mentioned, we're going to be covering Sugar Predict, which is Sugar's AI or artificial intelligence um, prediction engine for leads and opportunities. Currently, it'll be expanding in the future. We're going to talk about Sugar Live, which is Sugar's integration with Amazon Connect. And then we're going to talk about the new version 11 for Cell, Serve, and Enterprise. And if you're not familiar with what those are, Cell is the, the sales product that Sugar has available to people. And it includes things like opportunities, quotes, and all that good stuff. And then Sugar Serve is their support platform with quotes or not quotes, I'm sorry, cases, bugs, knowledge base, customer portal, and, and all those good things. And then enterprise is their on-premise solution. And again, if you're not familiar, sell and serve the cloud solutions get an update every quarter, so four per year. And then the on-premise solution enterprise gets an update once a year, which is cumulative of everything, not everything, most things that are in sell and serve. First up, we'll be talking about Sugar Predict. Again, this is their AI tool that will analyze leads and opportunities. And this came about uh, in 2020, Sugar acquired a customer intelligence startup called Node. And while Sugar was evaluating Node, they provided Node with an older backup of their Sugar instance and then asked Node to tell them what happened over the next few months. And of course, Sugar knew because they had their updated data and the results from Node were very accurate. So they were happy with the product, uh, they purchased it. And what it does is it compares your opportunity and lead data to records that have already converted or closed one. In this way, its predictions can get better over time because it's comparing to more data over time. In addition, it does use some third-party data to, to help its predictions. In order to use Sugar Predict, you have to be on version 10.3 or higher and on ver Sugar Cell. If you're in the cloud on Sugar Cell, you should certainly be on 10.3 or higher, version 11. Uh, Sugar Identity must be enabled. We covered that in a previous user group. And again, you can tell if you're, you have Sugar Identity enabled uh, because your login URL will be login-us-west2.service.sugarserum.com or something like that, not your standard company name.sugarondemand.com. Uh, currently, your instance must also be hosted in North America. Uh, if you have all of those prerequisites and you're interested in looking into it more, uh, you can contact us and we can request with Sugar to have it enabled in your instance. And I wanted to show a quick demo of that. This is a demonstration environment. Here we're looking at a leads list view. You can see we have our prediction column here. I can sort by my prediction column if I'm interested in looking at things that are very likely to close. Uh, I believe I can build a filter based on that. So I could look at uh, very likely and more likely records if I wanted to. I can click on my favorite record here, Maria. 
And it's got a dashlet that'll show you more likely to convert. This lead is similar to leads that convert 73% of the time, which is 3.1 times your average conversion rate. You can get a little bit more information about prediction details here. <clears throat> and yeah, so it's really cool. They're planning to add more features to Sugar Predict over time. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. The cost is included with your Sugar Cell subscription. So if you already have Sugar Cell and you're already using opportunities or leads, it's certainly worth looking into. Feel free to reach out to us and we can look more into Sugar Predict with you. All right, I'll be talking about Sugar Live. It's an integration with Amazon Connect. Sugar Live is a new addition that supports enhanced communications with clients. The two main features of Sugar Live are the ability to synchronously chat with website visitors and place and receive audio calls within the system. While other programs exist to support chat and audio calls, the integration of these features into Sugar presents some distinct advantages to the Sugar user. As you can see in the screenshot on the slide, the Sugar Live screen is separated into two parts the summary panel on the left and the detail panel on the right. You can customize the fields and layout of the summary panel to be different for calls and chat messages. The detail panel is a tabbed view that can be configured like any dashboard. Incoming calls and chats try to automatically match to the correct contact. Sugar Live will display interactions and cases for the contact on the screen automatically. When a phone call ends, Sugar Live creates a new call in Sugar for the user to enter the description. When a chat ends, it creates a new meeting with the conversation history recorded. The Sugar user can enter additional details and then save. Sugar Live has the ability to save call recordings and create call transcripts. This functionality is handled by Amazon Connect. The integration with Amazon Connect allows for lots of customization. For example, if you want to use a chat bot to route chats to someone, integrating Amazon Lex, which is their conversational chatbot AI, can all be set up. The setup sounds complicated, but it's all handled by AWS Lambda functions, and Sugar provides examples you can download and tweak on their website. To add Sugar Live to your Sugar Serve instance, all you need to do is go to Sugar CRM's download site and grab the Sugar Live zip file to get started. I'll hand it back to Justin. Thank you, Alex. Now we're going to talk about version 11 enhancements that exist for Sugar Cell Serve and Enterprise. Some enhancements are only for one product or the other. Uh, these are all combined enhancements. So they've improved the knowledge base search dashlet so that it no longer shows expired articles. They've added some enhanced security for iframes. Now a, an administrator must specifically allow external websites. Before you could just embed any website into an iframe in Sugar, which could potentially be a security issue. Uh, now those external websites have to be allowed by an administrator. Uh, this next one I like a lot. Uh, assignment notifications can be controlled by API platform. So what that means is if you have an integration that's inserting new leads into your system from your website, you can say, yes, I want that to send a, an assignment alert to whoever that lead gets assigned to. You may then have an integration with your accounting or ERP system that's inserting orders, payments, and shipping information and it's doing hundreds of those every day. You don't want assignment notifications going out for all of those new records. So you just turn off notifications for that integration. There's also been enhancements to Sugar BPM. So now the team field is multi-select because of course records can be associated with multiple teams. Um, now we can also compare date versus date time fields. I'm a big fan of this improvement. Before we used to have to create a calculated date or date time field to convert one field to another type, and then we could compare the data. Now we can just do it directly. Um, I always like to see modules taken out of backwards compatible mode and converted into 
sidecar and the email templates module has now been integrated. Uh, there's only a couple of modules left to upgrade. I think documents is still one, so hopefully we won't be seeing backwards compatible for much longer. Alex? Yep, uh, there are some enhancements to Sugar Cell. The interactions dashlet has been available on the accounts, contacts, leads, and opportunities modules in the record view for a while now. The interactions dashlet has now been added to the quotes module. Uh, the interactions dashlet displays the records, calls, meetings, emails, and notes with the most recent interactions on top. The quote worksheet is the area located just above the sub panels on the quote module. It's where you can add line items and sugar calculates the sum of the line items plus tax and shipping. Changing the layout of the quote worksheet now syncs to mobile. After upgrading to version 11, the administrator must resave the quote configuration for the layout to be applied to the mobile app. Um, so there's some enhancements to sugar serve um, that include the enhanced case creation and phone number lookups to sugar live that I had mentioned earlier. Um, the knowledge base search dashlet has been optimized to show the published and non expired articles in search results. Uh, for administration enhancements, Justin just went over um, the new uh, security policy settings regarding iframes and web page dashlets. And Sugar BPM received minor updates such as the ability to compare date and date time fields in the process business rules. The email templates module has been converted from the legacy user interface to the sidecar interface featured on the rest of the program. When creating email templates, you can now uh, insert variables from the cases module. I like that one, being able to insert variables from the cases module. Uh, finally, we have our on-premise version 11 enhancements. And again, when you're on-premise, you're only getting one quote-unquote roll-up release each year. So this includes all of the enhancements in version 10.1, 10.2, and 10.3, and the other version 11 enhancements we've already discussed. Uh, some of the highlights from all of those that have happened over the past year are improvements to revenue line items. Um, now you can set the expected close date, sales stage, and service start date at the opportunity level, and it'll push that change down to all related revenue line items. Within the studio, um, there's some new field types and options. We have an auto increment field type. There's a new required if functionality, so you can, you don't have to have a field required all the time. You can make it required if a certain condition is met. We also have the ability to make a field read only um, conditionally. So you could say this field is read only at this time or read write at other times. Uh, there's also been more field types added for mass update. For example, checkboxes, multi-select, date fields. Uh, and then the studio now has access to the relationship type fields if you want to make them required, for example. So an example of that would be out of the box on a contact, you have an account field. Before you couldn't see that account field in the studio to make it required and now you can. There's been some enhancements to Sugar BPM over the last year. They've combined start events. So now you can have new and updated records kick off a BPM at the same time. Uh, you can send message to all teams on a record, which is really nice. Uh, we have uh, some new BPM evaluation options where round robin by availability, where it's assigning records based on the availability of users according to their shifts, shift expectations, exceptions, and holidays, um, which is pretty cool. Um, multiple attachments per note. So now 
if you, you, you no longer have to insert four notes to insert four attachments. For example, you might have a statement of work, um, a scoping document, a consulting services agreement, and a price sheet that you want to attach. Now you can do all four of those in one note, which is really nice. You can also now filter on inactive users. Before you had to reactivate a user, filter on them, find the records you want, reassign them to whatever you want with them, mass update them, and then deactivate the user again. Now you can filter on those inactive users. And I already mentioned studio and VPN enhancements. So lots of good stuff. Danino will have links to the release notes for each of these. You might want to read them in a little more detail if you're interested. Uh, there's a couple of upcoming events, uh, specifically Sugar Connected 2021 is going to be a virtual conference. It's a customer conference. It's really good. Uh, there's going to be a lot of great information there. They're going to be going over their roadmap. I'm sure they'll have some cool presentations, a great guest speaker. And there's three of those, depending on where you're located. Um, most of our customers are probably going to be in the Americas. So June 9th, and we'll be sending out the link to get more information about that. I would definitely suggest uh, attending that. It's free. And that's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for your time. Are there any questions? I was going to say, you want to swing back to that sugar predict slide for a second. There's a couple things I want to mention there. So sure. um, super exciting feature. I was actually just searching um, and reading some articles today about artificial intelligence and CRM and, and where that's going. So sugar's definitely ahead of the game here. Um, but just um, some things you guys need to know is that sugar predict is currently only available for three specific use cases lead fit similarity lead conversion likelihood and opportunity one likelihood and so um it's a great tool but it's also something that you probably want to fit a certain criteria if you're if you're going to be looking at it so um first of all you should be operating under a b2b business model um you have to meet their data requirements by by use case and their version uh, requirements. And uh, as Justin mentioned, it it is incorporated into Sugar Cell, but you have to have Sugar Cell version 10.3 at least. Um, it needs to be IDM enabled, and you have to be following USA data requirements. So there are some criteria that would. Um, you know, you need to check off in order to get Sugar Predict and to understand if Sugar Predict is going to be um, a good fit for your business. But that's something that, you know, we're happy to talk to you about if you have questions, um, if you want to, you know, investigate it a little bit more for your company, we can, um, you know, evaluate it with you on, on these points and make sure that everything is uh, copacetic. That's all I wanted to add. <laughs> right, but um, uh, as Justin mentioned, I'll send out the relevant links to this. We we powered through this pretty quick today, so I guess we'll we'll give you some time back in your day. Um, but uh, as Justin mentioned, I will follow up with you. And again, if any questions come up, um, you have more questions on Sugar Predict or Sugar Live, just reach out to us. You can even just reply to the email that I send you. Um, with the follow up to this and I'll reroute re reroute you to whoever's um, going to be the best contact for you to to discuss that with. But other than that, thank you very much. Thank you, Justin and Alex. Um, and everybody enjoy the rest of your week. Just want to make sure that we Okay, we did have a question. Okay, but Justin got it. Great. All right. Any other questions? Toss them out. Uh, otherwise, we'll wrap up. Bueller. Bueller. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a Thank great you. afternoon.